All right. We've set most of our basic functions already. Now we're going to talk about some personalization. You can do some personalization for your Vitech in your dive category. So if I press mode and scroll, sorry, to set, press my three set and scroll to set dive. When I come in here, there is an adjust mode. And the adjust mode has a couple things in it. it this is where I'm going to set some of the personal things uh, for the computer to take into account for me. There's an altitude adjustment is handled in adjust mode. Um, setting up some of your personal risk factors by reading the, uh, the manual. There's a table in there that will talk about the different things that may make you more or less susceptible to decompression illness and you want to set those. And then there's also uh, you can change your uh, RGBM model to be more conservative or more aggressive. So by pressing select the first thing I have is altitude. And you can see if I scroll, don't know if you saw the little mountain come up there. The little mountain just got a little bigger. There's three modes here. Okay. A is your default factory setting, and it is good for sea level to a thousand feet. Then you've got A1, which is good from 1,000 to 5,000 feet. And you got your A2, which is good for 5,000 to 10,000 feet. Again, I'd make this adjustment only if you've been properly trained for altitude diving and you are going to be making an altitude dive. Otherwise, you can just leave this right at um, A factor of zero. Next is my P factor. My P factor, there's again three settings for this. P1, P2, and P0. I don't know if you notice, I'll cycle through those again by the little diver. You've got a plus sign, now two plus signs that have shown up in there. Okay, Reading through your manual, there's a bunch of factors listed. P0 is basically telling me um, that I am in perfect condition, don't have any of the possible susceptibilities for DCI. Uh, it's P1 means that I have some mentioned factors and P2 means I have several mentioned factors. I'm going to leave mine at P0 and go to my next mode which is my RGB. My RGB, the modeling, the reduced gradient bubble model here, what I've got is just a can cycle between 50 and 100. In 100 I'm the most conservative, the model is going to uh, make everything very conservative for me. Where if I go 50, what I've done is I've basically reduced the model by about 50% and made it more aggressive so I can get longer bottom times and all that stuff. Again, personal choice, I like to keep mine in the full RGB 100 mode so that I'm taking full advantage of the RGB uh, modeling. Pressing mode will back me out. Pressing mode three more times gets me back to the home screen.